Just four Barclays Premier League fixtures on Saturday. One of the key games comes from the Medeski Stadium where Reading host Aston Villa in a true relegation six-pointer. It's been a lean spell of late for the Royals who've lost all four games since beating Sunderland a month ago. Everton proved too strong last time out. How Robson Carney grabbed a late consolation, but Reading lost 3-1. Brian McDermott will have to assess the fitness of Jimmy Kebe after he limped off against the Toffees. Goalkeeper Adam Federici has an ankle injury, so Stuart Taylor looks set to again deputise against his former employers. The visitors haven't fared much better form-wise, winning just one of their last 12. Villa's last win on the road was all the way back in December when they beat Liverpool 3-1 at Anfield, with Christian Benteke scoring twice. Boss Paul Lambert will be hoping to have captain Ron Vlaar fit in time to play, but record signing Darren Bent is likely to miss out again as he recovers from a foot injury. Harry Redknapp's latest attempt at the Great Escape continues at Loftus Road, where his Queen's Park Rangers side take on Sunderland. The R's will be buoyed by last week's 2-1 away win at fellow strugglers Southampton, where Loic Remy and Jay Bothroyd were on the score sheet. It was just their third win of the season, only one of those has come in front of their own supporters. Goalkeeper Julio Cesar injured his hip against the Saints and is doubtful for Saturday. Rob Green excelled when replacing Cesar at St Mary's and will again fill in if the Brazilian is walked out. Sunderland haven't won in their last five, but did earn a morale-boosting draw with Fulham last weekend. The Black Cats recovered from two goals behind to pinch a point, thanks to Stefan Sessignon's late leveller. The game looks to have come too soon for Lee Catamol and Danny Rose, who are still nursing knee and hamstring injuries. Matthew Kilgallen could return, though. He missed the Fulham game through illness. There's another key game affecting the bottom of the table at Carrow Road, where Norwich City plays struggling Southampton. The home side are still not guaranteed safety, and boss Chris Hewton has called Marge a big month for his team. The Canaries have three fixtures against teams around them in the table to come, but were no match for Manchester United last weekend, losing 4-0. Norwich have picked up just one win in their last 11 attempts. It's been a modest start for Maurizio Pochettino, who's picked up just one win from his first seven matches as Southampton manager. The Saints sit just three points above the relegation zone with 10 games remaining, and their cause wasn't helped by the 2-1 defeat to fellow relegation rivals QPR. West Bromwich Albion welcome League Cup winners Swansea City to the Hawthorns. The Baggies have cemented their position in the top half of the table and despite a setback against Chelsea last weekend, will still have their eyes on possible Europa League qualification. It's been a good few weeks for Michael Laudrup Swansea. They followed up Wembley's success in the League Cup with a 1-0 home victory over Newcastle. Luke Moore got the winner late on for the Welsh side. That was his first goal of the season. The Swans look set to again be without Spanish centre-back Chico Flores, who's missed the last two games with an ankle injury. Gary Monk will again deputise.